New tonight, President Trump is now weighing in on this controversial new Nike ad featuring Colin Kaepernick. And it is not, uh, in some ways, a response that everyone might expect. The president telling the Daily Caller tonight, I think it's a terrible message and a message that shouldn't be sent. But it is what this country is all about. You have certain freedoms to do other things that people think you shouldn't do. I personally am on a different side of it. The president also mentioned the Nike flagship store is in his building and pays him a lot of rent. The ad triggered backlash from some customers, many turning to social media to share photos of Nike products burned in protest. The company's stock was down today about 3 percent. My next guest is outraged by this choice by Nike, and he knows something about sacrificing for something. In 2008, his Humvee was hit by an IED in Afghanistan, leaving him severely burned and blinded in one eye. Here now, welcome back to the story tonight, Sergeant Robert Bartlett, Army veteran and advisor to United Against a Nuclear Iran. Sergeant, good to see you tonight. Thank good to you see so you too, much Martha. for being here. It was um, May, though, of uh, 2005, just so you know. Thank in you. In Iraq. Corrected yeah, no problem. 2005. Yeah. Uh, we stand corrected. So you feel very strongly sure. that this is the wrong message from Nike. Absolutely. Why? Uh, I think kind of um, Mother Teresa said it best. The fruit of love is service, right? My family has fought for this country in service of this country and under this flag since the birth of this country. Uh, this is my grandfather's flag who broke his back in a coal mine. World War II broke out. He walked with a cane. He threw his cane in the front yard and went and signed up for the Navy the next day. His son, my grandfather, said my grandfather was going to war with a broken back on an able body. He went. You know, uh, we serve, and in that service, you feel the love of, of what you did, being part of something bigger than yourself. Getting on your knees is not being part of something bigger than yourself. Service, getting into the community, helping out those in need, that's service of others. So what, I mean, but Colin Kaepernick says that he feels that there is racial injustice in the country and that as an American, he has the right to, to protest if he, if he feels that that will make it send his message. And now Nike's on board. They're helping him send that message in a big way. Right, yeah. So they make all this money off of uh, sac those who sacrifice for the freedom for them to do that under a flag that provides them with that service of freedom to do that. So they're protesting the very thing that provides them that opportunity. And then you look at Nike and you say, okay, well, they have their freedom to put up whoever they want in advertisement. I have a feeling uh, Nike is not going to make its number this year. Uh, all my friends are burning their stuff. We've got friends who got rid of all their Hollywood stuff for those who didn't support America or are not pro-American. Uh, it's continued. Uh, got friends who don't watch the NFL anymore. Yeah, lots uh, of them. The ratings are down 10 percent last yeah. year, and this. I, this growing. subject has definitely hurt them, and it's very much back in the forefront with Colin Kaepernick's trial going sure. forward now as well. Um, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, of all people, has decided to weigh in on the Nike camp, uh, the Nike ad with Colin Kaepernick. Here's what he yeah. said: The NFL season will start this week. Unfortunately, once again, Kaepernick is not on an NFL roster, even though he is one of the best quarterbacks in the league. Well, if he was, he'd have a job, yeah. no matter what he was doing. Right? No matter what he was protesting, he'd have a job. And that's not the reality. And so, Octomid <laughs> Dishad, if he's, uh, you know, the great divine person of, of uh, American politics and what's right and what's wrong, then uh, the world's really upside down. Okay, less than a minute left. I want to get your reaction to John Brennan, sure. uh, who has also been much in the news. He says Colin Kaepernick drew our collective attention to the problem of continued racial injustice in America. He did so not to res disrespect our flag, but to give meaning to the words of the preamble of the Constitution in order to form a more perfect union. Well done, Colin. Well done, says John Brennan. I'd say that's a continuation of voting for communism. If you don't stand for the flag and don't care about the flag and the very things that provide you with those freedoms and representative of that, then what are you standing for? Are you standing for a communist flag of some other country or a, uh, are you standing with Ahmadinejad or who, you know? Uh, if you're not standing for this country, what are you standing for? If so, hey, let's trade. Let's trade for people who want to come here, all right? You go there, we'll, come, we'll take them here. Sergeant, uh, we don't want to trade you for anybody. We're very glad you're here I tonight. I love this country. And we thank you it's so much. It's worth dying for this country. It's worth it. You and your grandfather and your great-grandfather, we thank father, all of you for your yeah. service. Thank you very much thank for being here Thank you very here much. Today, I appreciate Sergeant. it, Martha. Good to see you again. You too. Always a pleasure to God have bless. you on the program. You too.